guys, it's Whitney and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the new iPad Pro 2020 12.9 inch. So a quick disclaimer before I open this, um, I bought this with my own money because I've been wanting a new laptop and I saw the commercial and this is a great laptop replacement. So I'm super excited. So let's open it up. Okay, so I have the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 4th generation with 256 gigabytes. Oh, this is the satisfying part. So. <laughs> here's the box. And here's the satisfying part. Ah, oh, I wrapped it! No! Anyways. <laughs> okay. How do I? And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Wow. Okay. So here it is. Okay, so here's the iPad. It has the new Pro cameras. The buttons are on the side. Power button on the top. Wow, no home button. That's crazy. And here this is the little packet. And it comes with their new, um, their new charger. And this one's supposed to charge like really fast. And that's all that's left in the box. So it comes with a charger. Okay, so let's look at the iPad. Okay, so here is the iPad. It's so big, but actually I was expecting it to be like a little too big, um, but it's actually like perfect size. Like here's it against my face. <laughs> so in comparison, my old iPad is the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And here's a quick comparison of the two. So it's a pretty big difference. And also this one has the home button so this screen is going to be much bigger. Anyways, I'm going to set it up and show you guys what's inside. <laughs> so I think to turn it on, click that. Can this turn or something? On well, my camera angles. <laughs> So unlike my old iPad, these have square, like straight sides. And my other one had like more rounded sides. And I think the reason for that is because they have an Apple Pencil where it attaches straight to the side magnetically. Okay, so look how big the screen is. Quick start. Oh, that's so convenient. So it's telling me to bring my current iPhone near this iPad to sign in and set it up. Wait, 
What's it telling me to do? Okay, so it immediately pulled up my new iPad and it was super easy. It's just doing it all on its own. So now I have to enter my passcode to my phone. I don't even know the passcode to my phone. Can I uh, see your phone, Blakely? <laughs> Do you guys ever like memorize like the pattern of your password but you don't actually know the numbers? Okay, now it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, but really quick, it's phone. Thanks. It came and it's charged 89%, which is so good. That's almost full battery and it's already connected to my Wi-Fi. That's crazy. So we'll wait for it to set up. Oh, now I'm gonna set up Face ID. So if we want to come around the back and show me setting up Face ID. So a cool thing about um, the new iPads is that it's kind of like there's no home button so instead of the touch ID, there's face ID. So that's super cool. First scan complete, so I have to do another one. It's a high security joint. <laughs> okay, face ID is set up. So I have it all set up. Let's explore what we can do. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So first thing, let's check out the camera. Wow, okay, so here's me, that's crazy, okay, let me take a picture of Blakely, no, let me take a pic, Blakely come here, so these are supposed to have new like really good cameras, so I'm going to see how good quality it is. So there, they have multiple different like um, sizes, just like the iPhone 11. So I have normal, freeze, and wide. Wow, <laughs> look at the dip. Look at the difference. That's the same picture. <laughs> wow. Okay. Straight. No. So there's a bunch of different things. That's huge. Screen. Yeah. I'm still getting used to the no home button. That's so weird. Yeah, that's so cool. So. I don't know if you guys can see the screen is well the screen is so clear it's so satisfying to like sounds lame but it's so satisfying to like touch anyways I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts so my final thoughts on the iPad Pro fourth generation it's super lightweight and super thin and like easy to carry around. A lot of people say that the 12.9 is too big for them, but in my opinion, I think it's the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. 
and it like if you're looking for a laptop replacement it's like the perfect like laptop screen size also the camera is super nice just like the 11s and I bet this thing would be so fun to watch Netflix on Watch but yeah let me know if you guys would like a um, update video a couple months once I kind of figure out some apps that are good and if, I don't know just let me know if you want an update video here's my Instagram so comment if you would like that also comment other video ideas that you guys would like to see from me and I love you all so much thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye Okay. Can I see the camera quality from this to that? Is it good? Whoa, it's big. It's humongous. Oh, your camera. It's not focusing. Go check it. We're doing montage clips right now. Wow, Whitney, is that an iPhone? <laughs> wow, Whitney, is that an iPad Pro? Fourth generation? Wow, yeah it is. Wow, I heard those are so cool. Wow, looks great. Find at your local Apple store near you. <laughs> or since we're in quarantine, maybe on online. <laughs> yeah. Well, you ain't going to Ooh, hoodie! It's like glass. bigger than natural size, yeah. Not actual size. Here, do some. Stand over there. No, act dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> She's clearer than real life. Get it a little bit closer. What if you zoom there. in? Just zoom in. Big brain.